Hello everyone and welcome to another Timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Bant Control Deck in Timeless format. Now the original list comes from the tournament that took place two weeks ago from the Timeless Trials number two. There was a pretty interesting Bant Control list there and this is a direct copy of it except I have changed the deck ever so slightly and we're playing three copies of Elko, and two copies of Dig Through Time. Interestingly enough, this deck also plays four copies of Stifle, which is a card that I've been kind of playing with a lot as of recent, which was the main attraction to this deck when I first took a look at this. I feel like this is one of those cards, like when you get a little bit of a taste of what the Stifle can do, I feel like you just can't ever go back. But basically the applications for the Stifle in this deck is Obviously, you can stifle your opponent's fetch lands, and then once opponent is stuck on lands or trying to recuperate, looking for more lands, then you can kind of sneak in an Oko and just kind of immediately win the game. But you could also stifle your Uro's the sacrifice trigger as well, so that you can get an Uro down without having to escape this. And one last application where the stifle is very useful is the One Ring. This deck actually plays two copies of One Ring. So during the trigger where the One Ring requires you to lose life for each of the burden counters on the One Ring, you could stifle that ability. So that's another additional interaction in this deck, which is pretty nice. As for the Omnitel matchup, there is actually a pretty nice card called the Rule of Law in the sideboard, which is something you can put onto the battlefield. If opponent does put an Omniscience onto the battlefield, you can Rule of Law, and opponent can't play more than one spell turn. And of course, we do have two copies of Test of Talents as well. So with a little bit of a pressure from Oko in this deck and Uro, I feel like you should be able to close out the game against an Omnitel pretty well. So with that said, I'm going to be hopping over to some Timeless Best of 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on her. Okay, playing against Loris. As a Stifle turn 1. That's always fun. Oh my god, why is it lagging? Might just play the Mystic Sanctuary. That'll allow me to play Oko next turn. It's like skipping. Yep, this is a perfect turn to play Oko. That's why Stifle is just so good. Unless they play a Pierce, you know? I guess I'd be pretty upset if they do play a Pierce, but... I already got a stifle off, so can't really complain about that. Okay, so they do play a Pierce main deck. I think I'm just going to draw two with this. The mirror control, okay. I'll just draw two right now. No land. That would have been so good. Like, we would have just won on the spot, right? If the Oko resolved. That would have been sick. We're gonna try to bowmaster here. We have our uh, swords. Nice. More lands. Do I want that? We kind of do, right? 
because we need um another green source. So we play that, play Uro, they have a counter spell, we have a no more lies. Okay. I think they're gonna take Dick through time, right? Pretty good. So fatal push. Um do I want to know more lies? Just to put it in the graveyard? Probably not. Okay. That's really good. Um, can I leave up No More Lies? I can exile... I'd have to exile four. Hmm. I think we pass. Stifle's really good. I think I binding into a Stifle. Whatever they play, perhaps. Well, if you make it that easy, I guess I'll have to no more lies. Let's just do this now. I just want to get the sub binding out of the way. Dig through time. And we'll uh, stifle this uh, polluted delta. Get back Guru next turn again. Might just go stifle dig through time though. If they counter my... Hmm. Okay. They're leaving up exactly... Okay, so... I'll do... I need to exile three. I'm leaving up Stifle in case this is like an Archmage Charm in their hand. They have to fetch the Polluted Delta. This way we Stifle like this. <clears throat> That's fine. We have Spring Verdict, so... Counter Spell. I guess no more lies. I was looking for Oko or something. So we know the opponent has an Archmage Charm in their hand. That much is certain. So a uh, double Bowmaster gone. If we Supreme Verdict.
We have five in the yard for... Okay, well, no more lies here. So we can Uro next turn. A lot of dead cards in this matchup. A lot of dead cards. Oh, wow. I think it's actually Oko. Yeah, I think it's actually Oko. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Welcome to the feast. Let's see, they have a Bowmaster to get back next turn. Short. Quite the nibble. Let's do that now. This way they can't get back um, a Bowmaster. And they'll have to tap out and we Binding the Loris. And then play Whirl. And that should be game. I'll be honest. Stifle has been really good this match. It's been really good. Okay, so... Okay, they let the Loris go. That's fine. <laughs> Gonna start attacking with this. Maybe I'll just wait for Counterspell to play the Uro out. I mean, if it's an Archmage Charm, it's actually just better to play this out. Yeah. Let's just play it out. So, the opponent has to use the Archmage Charm on this. <clears throat> I think this is work. I think this is good. Then we'll, uh, Swords, Stifle again. Then we'll get back Uro again. Yeah, Uro is such a good card. Do we even care about this? Yeah, unless I can put uh, two more cars in, which I can't do right now with the Stifle. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Snap, Caster Mage. Man, the stifle is just so good. I I guess I could Supreme Verdict again. Or I guess I could play I can't play Uro right now. Soren's ransom. Gotta actually let that go. Okay, so if, if opponent wants a counter spell, they can keep this one. If opponent wants a fatal push, they have to get a thought seize. We can play the Uro out. Because uh, thought seize doesn't really matter too much because we have a Uro. Like, sure, they get to discard our Supreme Verdict, but. Get rid of a Snapcaster Mage. And cast the uh, Binding as well. Like, they still have to deal with the, um, the Uro and Oko. GG's. 
What a card. What a card Uro is. Um, Binding was pretty bad, right? Binding was pretty bad. Looks like their only creatures are two mana, car uh, two mana cards. Orcish Bowmaster. And Snapcaster Mage. So Fragment Reality is going to be pretty good. Stern Scolding is going to be pretty good. I think Spell Pierce is going to be pretty good as well. Maybe even Ashiok. Stifle was really good. Like, it was so good. I still got to get rid of three cards. I think it's a Fragment Reality and an Ashiok. <clears throat> How good is this? That's a lot of lands. Which we kind of do want. We do want a lot of lands as a control deck. Still not cracking the Flooded Strand after seeing what has been done on in game one for um with the stifle. That's just uh that's just disrespectful. That's a disrespect versus a stifle. Very disrespectful. Oh, they played Mishra's Bubble. Let's grab Hedge Maze. I don't think I want another land with um, three lands in hand. Okay. We have the breeding pool, so like that's all the greens that we need for the rest of the game. Yeah, kind of a weird game. Well, it keeps it on top. I could keep these, but I think I just want to play Uro next turn with the Stern Scolding. I was like, maybe we can keep these for like Mystic Sanctuaries without popping. Veil of Summer is pretty good. I don't think you would counter this. Like, I think that would be a really big mistake. Yeah, I think you just play Bowmaster. Looks like they have a Bowmaster. We'll shock that in. I don't think we cracked this um, Pluto Delta, do we? Not yet. Play the Euro out. Opponent counters. We Veil of Summer. Six cars in the yard. Huh. We actually can't Veil of Summer. I guess we still have a Stern Scolding if, if they try to uh, Bowmaster. Archmage Charm, that's fine. It's a little bit of a misplay on my part. Um, I didn't know we ha we needed another green source. 
I guess it makes sense. This deck is a little bit light on green. I was trying to dig through time. Seems like. Or they could have a Snapcaster Mage. Veil of Summer. They did play a Thoughtseize last turn. Last game. I wonder if they have uh, more Thoughtseizes. I also don't want to show them that we have a Veil of Summer. Because if, if I put the Veil of Summer in the graveyard, I feel like they're going to... Does this work? I guess you would... I, I'd still be able to draw a card. I don't think it works. Because Cling to does says target graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work, but... I, I think it's still fine. I guess I could, like... I could have, like, fought over it. One ring. I wish I had one more mana. Okay, so... Oh man, I wish I had one more mana. What if I dig through time... No, I'll, I'll have to do it on their turn. So that they tap out. What happened? What? Wait, why didn't they draw a card? Bug? So make them use one card on the dig through time. And then we'll one ring into a no more lines, perhaps. Oh my god, wait, hold up. This is actually better, right? Because I can go Oko, leave up a veil, and a counter spell. Counter you. And they'll have to use the last counter spell. I should have used Stern Scolding. Yeah, what am I doing? Double bow me? Well, this is a little bit of a pickle, huh? I think if they want a long goodbye, they have to take um, one card. And we'll Veil of Summer. Because this gets rid of Oko, right? And I can't, I can't counter this. I think this is still a, I think this is a good outcome because I have a spring, uh, spring verdict. I invite you to change your ways. I think I have to just uh, pass, leave up these cars. I also have to get rid of the cling to dust somehow. Dig through time. I think I'll veil up summer this. They still got six cards with the cling to dust.
Unironically, Spring Verdict really good in this matchup. Really good in this matchup. I guess I'll one ring. If they flash in a Bowmaster, I'll uh, Stern Scolding. Oh, they have to get rid of one ring then. They got rid of a Stern Scolding. Um, let's see what they do. I think we just um, put down the one ring and then just Spring Verdict next turn. Do I want to grab a Mystic Sanctuary here? Stern Scolding back. I think a little merriment is in order. Loris. They get back a Mishra's Bauble. I think we let that happen. Like, I could draw Stern Scolding, but they, they're gonna flash in their Orcish Bowmaster, right? In response to this, uh, us drawing. So, we let that go. And then we're going to draw on their end step. Okay, I think this is game, I think this is game over. We have one ring, Stern Scolding, um, Oko. We have Uro coming. Because they, they have to... Ha they can't just... They can't play Cling to Dust, right? Because they have to hold up to a uh, Orcish Bowmaster plus like a counter spell or something. I mean, I, I guess they could just eat it right now. Okay. GG's. You're blind to your folly. Hostile to the tree. Why do you cross me? Yeah, GG's. That was a pretty cool game. No. Ugh. We got a stifle, but we have to mulligan this. Really? Game? How could you do this to me? Feels bad. Hey, that's a land. That's another land. Again? Oh no, swords. Uh, Esper control, perhaps? 
they have a brainstorm. You don't have a spell pierce. That's what I thought. I think they actually didn't respect my hand because we mulled to five. And they saw Meticulous Archive. Right? Okay. That was easy. Soars to Plowshare. And you also see a Mystic Sanctuary, so it's definitely a control deck. I'm gonna play, um... I'm gonna play Ashox. Stern Scolding as well. Four cards. Four freaking cards to get rid of. I want Ashok because of like Mystic Sanctuaries and like, probably got like Dick Through Time. What do I get rid of? Maybe I go down on a copy of a Stifle because it's a bit of a meme. <laughs> okay, let's just play one Ashok then. What did I get rid of last time? Maybe one less Supreme Verdict? Oh, I think I cut down on a copy of Uro. Yeah. Lovely hand. I don't think that I, I don't think I cracked this uh, flood of strand because I think they might. I, I I'm thinking they have a brainstorm and and cracking this. Uh, they might try to go for brainstorm and cracking this in response to us cracking this because I really want to stifle their flood of strand. So there's the brainstorm. And I'm gonna crack, um, I'm gonna stifle their Blood of Strand. Oh man, this is just... Goodbye. What if they are also playing Stifle? Well, well, well. Look who's here. The so next turn we can Oko into Veil of Summer. Pretty good. Yeah, we got the Esper. We got the Esper. We need another breeding pool, but we can fetch it with Blood of Strand. So I'll grab a Hallowed Fountain. I guess it doesn't matter. Archmage Charm. We'll go Oko with the Veil of Summer. So they'd have to have a spell pierce in the spot. I think that's game. Unless they can answer this Oko. Walk with me. Sing with me. I will it's not poisonous. Trust me. What a card. This entire sequence? Only happened because we had a stifle. Pretty absurd. Oh dear. Bowmaster. Do we care about this? 
I, th I think I'm just going to use my swords on this. Leave up a stern scolding for something like a snapcaster mage. I wonder if something crazy ha would happen if I just stick through time here. I'm a bit afraid. Because, I mean, realistically... I think I just pass. Oko is such a ridiculous card. It is such a ridiculous card. I think a little merriment is in order. Six cars in the yard. I'll grab a Lauren revealed. Because this can grab either a Mystic Sanctuary again. I think I'm actually down to um counterspelling this. Like, they already have such a hard time versus this Oko. Why do you cross me? I guess it doesn't hurt to keep up, um, Stern Scolding and Swords. They have Pierce. I guess I can do it again. Oh, they have another Pierce. Okay, that's fine. They got us. Blind to your folly. I invite you to change we'll just pass. That was a really good play by them. I'm just double blocking so that they can actually use their cars on their turn. So we can actually play um play out our cards. Looks like they got dig through time. Um That was really well played by them. So I, I gotta source the army. Ashiok, that is kind of huge. Welcome to my you. Oh my god! Look at my mills! Welcome to the feast. Jesus. That was a brutal mill. Your lack of fear disturbs me. Ooh. That's pretty good. You're too close minded. Well, we got another Oko. Yeah, that's game. Wait, can they see us? Wait, can they see the dig through time? No, it doesn't it doesn't reveal. 
Okay, so unfortunately, I have ran into two control decks in a row. So these games just take so, so, so long. So we went 3-0 and zero with this deck. One against the Mirror Control, the other one against an Esper Control, and the other one was against a Jun deck, where I stifled their land, and they couldn't find their second land and into an Oko, kind of similar to how it went down in a match 2 versus an Esper Control. So, yeah, that's it's just so strong. Stifle, even if opponent goes first, now they're down on the land, and all of a sudden, it's like you're going first. So now you get to your Oko faster, and they just can't keep up. And Supreme Verdict, very good against um, Jun Mid Range. And the only card that you really want to worry about against a Jun Mid Range is, um, is Minx and Boo. And of course, Dig Through Time has been absolutely fantastic. A uh, Binding hasn't been. I'm kind of conflicted. Like, Binding is. was decent. I feel like it was decent. But. Most of the times, Binding has been a 3-mana card. Because when are you ever going to fetch a Xander's Lounge? This deck is actually pretty color intensive when it comes to what colors you fetch. Because you really need double white for Supreme Verdict. You really need double green for Uro. And you also, most of the times, I, I feel like you want to fetch a Meticulous Archive or Hedge Maze instead. So... I feel like the Xander's Lounge, like, un, un, I mean, that could just be a mistake on my part, grabbing these instead of Xander's Lounge. But I feel like because this is a control deck with uh, only 22 lands, so I do think it's a little bit light on lands. So getting your land drops by surveilling early, um, in early turns is actually pretty important from the looks of it. And also, like, Xander's Lounge is a little bit awkward. I, I, I get the point why the Xander's, Xander's Lounge is here, because you want to be able to cast Archmage Charm. But if you go Xander's Lounge, even if you fetch a Hallowed Fountain, right? These two together. Um, Binding still costs two mana. Even if you fetch a Breeding Pool instead, well, I guess you can't play as, um your Leyline Binding in this case, so... Like, unless you have Xander's Lounge Breeding Pool plus a Hallowed Fountain, Binding is going to be over-costed. So that's something that I kind of experienced a lot with the Leyline Binding. The, the fact that the Xander's Lounge was a little bit difficult to fetch because of all, all those points that I've just um, laid out. Now, of course, you could just, you know, play another land instead of a uh, Zather's Lounge. But it's going to be a lot harder to fetch with our land base, our fetch lands. Plus, it's also, it might also hinder your Archmage Charms. So, yeah, the deck is um, very color intensive. Or, or even counter spells, right? If, if you draw into your Triome that's not blue, that is exactly Zander's Lounge, and another Triumph instead, you might not be able to cast your counter spell on turn two, right? So very color intensive, surprisingly. So like I do understand why the Xander's Lounge is here. It's just that by having a Xander's Lounge, binding doesn't come online until way later. Unless you really force it. I mean I guess two mana binding isn't so bad. But Binding has been kind of mediocre. Uh, no More Lies has been great. It's been absolutely fantastic. Counter Spell has been good. I think two copies of Archmage Charm is actually pretty nice. I don't think having more Charm is going to be that great. Because we're, we're trying to abuse Stifle, right? So we want cards like the One Ring. Also, like just One Ring plus Supreme Verdict, just such a good combination. It is just such a good combination. You get a fog into a into a board wipe. It's just so good, and also Uro's been good. So yeah, um, fra I think the only cars that were kind of mediocre were Fragment Reality and Binding, and I can't imagine myself also playing a Teferi over Oko. It's just like imagine if I stifled into a Teferi on on turn three, 
like that wouldn't have taken over the game versus just getting an Oko down on turn three, right? In all of the games that I played. Um, as for the sideboard, so the original list actually only placed two copies of Supreme Verdict, but my list placed three copies. I'm not sure how good the temporary lockdown would be, but it's there. You're playing against aggros, I guess. Actually, against the mono red or Rakdos, like the, the Rakdos burn list, temporary lockdown actually would be pretty good because it does get rid of enchantments. So if they have like something like Okibas, bunch of Okibas, um, rolling vortex, things like that, I, I do think temporary lockdown would be pretty fire there. Um, I think the rule of law is pretty interesting versus Omnitel, but we weren't able to match into an Omnitel yet. Spell Pierce, obviously pretty good um, versus Necropones, especially if opponent is trying to Dark Ritual on turn one. Stern Scolding's been absolutely insane. Just killing it. Same with the Veil of Summer. And Ash Elk actually came in handy versus an Esper control deck. So I like the sideboard, not much to say. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. And if you did, as always, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.